So I was really fortunate when I left college and I graduated. My first job was as an intern at Fallon in Minneapolis. And Fallon has always been one of the best regarded planning agencies. And it was a great place to learn. I had a lot of awesome mentors. The first account I was assigned as an assistant account planner was working with a number of other seasoned planners, uh, Nordstrom. And I knew nothing about retail. I knew nothing about shoes and I knew nothing about women. So it was a very kind of foreign experience for me. And about six months into that account, um, I was working with the, the senior planner at the time and I started kind of sketching out what I saw as being uh, almost like a framework for how um, our specific target audience was like navigating the category and how their style was evolving over time and all that sort of thing. And as I was sketching that out, she leaned over to me and she said, I think you just became a planner. And I didn't really know what that meant at the time, but looking back at it, I think there's a number of different uh, stages that a planner or a strategist has to go through in order to mature and develop and hone their craft. So there's really, what I see looking back on everything is I really see that there's kind of four stages of, of being a strategist or being a planner. So the most fundamental element of a strategist needs to be some level of smarts. Like they just have to have like the curiosity and the interest to learn about new things and, and think about things differently. So that's the most kind of basic fundamental element of what makes a strategist a strategist. The second thing is this idea of samples. And what I mean by that is case studies, right? So great um, strategists, they know how to look at what's happening in their clients category, other categories, and start to look at best practices and start to formulate some ideas on um, how to best um, think about a situation and how to navigate what's going on in the world. So fundamentally have to be smart and curious. They also have to know how to look at what other brands are doing and learn from that and, and look at case studies and, and build uh, a set of best practices that they can share. The third is structures. And what I mean by structures is essentially frameworks, right? So there's a lot of frameworks out there about how to put together a strategy, how to present it, uh, how to think through, you know, brand positioning or comms planning or whatever it is. Like there's tons of, you know, pyramids and Venn diagrams and all this sort of stuff that are available to strategists out there. And knowing how to work within those is kind of the third level. But I think what needs to happen beyond that is thinking a little bit about systems. So as a planner is evolving in their career, they can't just rely on being smart and having interesting things to say. They can't just rely on, hey, here, I saw this great ad for this brand and we should try to do something similar. They can't just rely on frameworks and hope that their framework wins the day and, and woos the client and gets them excited. They have to start thinking about how to take all three of those things, the, the smarts, the case studies and the structures, the frameworks, put them all together into systems. And that's just another way of talking about processes, right? So how do you think about the entire strategy development process? How do you take all of these different elements and start to string them together into a process that works for you and works for your client? And that's something that takes a lot of time to start to, as you mature through your career, you start to get a better handle of you know what works and what doesn't. But ultimately what you want to see from a seasoned strategist or planner is this passion for systems and processes and how to put things together in a very compelling way that leads to new opportunities for their clients. The reality is that there's a lot of ways to learn a lot of these fundamental skills in terms of like the smarts, there's lots of resources, trend reports, um, all sorts of information online that you can and people you can follow online to get a better idea of like what's happening in the world. Same with uh, case studies and, and best practices. And then frameworks, there's a lot of um, different frameworks available as well. So all those things are readily available. Uh, one thing that I am trying to do is I'm trying to get strategists to think more about the systems and how do you put all of these things together. One example is this uh, course that I put together on, on Planner U, uh, the kind of the flagship course on Planner U is all about writing the inspired creative brief. And it is not just about 
you know, a, a 20 minute video telling you how to write a one line brief, right? It's all about the entire system, the entire process of writing briefs, all the different steps that you take throughout, you know, the two or three weeks that you have to write a brief from identifying the objectives to doing the research to, you know, sharing brief prototypes uh, internally and externally, and then finally writing the brief uh, and then presenting it, of course, is the final step. So anyway, like I've, the point is that like strategists really need to get a handle of like, what's my unique system? What's my unique process that really leverages all the skills that I have to bring to the table and all the resources that I have available? And once you start to think in systems and processes, you're going to elevate your game as a strategist. Um, so if this was helpful for you, just um, one thing to consider is check out that Inspired Creative Brief program on Planner U. If you just go to PlannerU.com, there's more information there. And if you're interested in getting a 50% discount on um, the fee for that Inspired Creative Brief training, just go ahead and uh, message me, send me a direct message or comment below, um, and I can get you a coupon code so you can check it out. But that's once you get in there, you'll see that that's a great example of thinking about how do I put together an entire system, an entire process around the different things that I need to do for my clients and not just relying on piecing together interesting bits and pieces here and there and try to tell a cohesive story. You really need to think about how do I unpack the entire process and how do I work the process to get to a really compelling vision for the brand and strategy for, for moving the brand forward. Hopefully that was helpful. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in and I will talk to you soon. Thanks.